let's get right into it. Let's go. Episode 606, Soul Not For Sale podcast. Robert F. Kennedy was caught up in something that could have been way worse than it was. He's approached by a man. The man's claiming to be a part of his detail, his security detail. He has badges that are kind of showing that he's official so he can get past certain people. He has two pistols that are loaded. He has extra magazines and he wants to get as close as possible to RFK Jr. That's the situation that unfolded. It's a horrible situation. We're going to go deep into it. I'm going to show you a little bit about Robert F. Kennedy talking about him being denied Secret Service protection, which, in my opinion, would fix a situation like this, obviously. Then we're going to play a clip because, you know, I like to go a little deeper. I'm going to play a clip of why I think Robert F. Kennedy Jr. is being denied Secret Service protection. And then we're going to actually show the arrest that took place because a man was arrested. It was caught on camera. And Robert F. Kennedy Jr. himself does speak on the whole situation via Twitter. So we're going to go into that as well. Wild situation. Can't believe this happened. Now, let's get into the store really quick. This is IamCoachColin.com. And this right here is the bold statement, the boldest of them all, in my opinion. Soul not for sale. It is a battle between good and evil. And your soul is at stake. Do not sell it for fortune and fame believe me it is not worth it and we have the public enemy number one shirt right here google the world economic forum you'll know quickly why this man is public enemy number one and we have the certified pure blood shirt for those of you that survived the pandemic unscathed untainted pure blood strong-willed good job this is your certificate of achievement get yours now and we got hoodies, we got tank tops, we got t-shirts, we got mugs, we got all that stuff. You can get yours at IamCoachColin.com. And if you want 10% off of anything you just saw, all you got to do is put in the discount code IamCoachColin. That is all one word, every single word, IamCoachColin, all capital letters, every single one, and one L in the name Colin. That gets you 10% off. And if you've done that with us already, Thank you so much. I'm going to go with this first clip. This is RFK Jr. talking about being denied Secret Service protection by none other than his main political rival. How about that? Let's get into this. You talked about how the Department of Homeland Security denied you Secret Service protection. I'm just wondering, have you been able to employ any type of uh, private security contractor or anything like that at this point? Well, I... <laughs> I'm not going to tell you my security arrangements for, for obvious reasons, but um, as far as we can tell, I'm the first candidate in history to be denied Secret Service protection uh, on request. Uh, my uncle got Secret Service protection. Teddy got Secret Service protection uh, 441 days out, and he wasn't even running. So President Carter, who he was running against, it was a great personal antipathy between them. And nevertheless, he provided him Secret Service protection. Uh, John McCain got it 551 days out. Obama got it 551 days out. Literally, Jesse Jackson, Shirley Chisholm, you go all the way back, John McCain. All of them were given Secret Service protection much farther out than I requested. Uh, the, uh, the excuse that the White House has given that it's not available until 120 days out it is just a specious it's dishonest it's not true well how about that so that is that is what's happening to him he's requested it it was denied now again you know i say his political rival his main political rival which is obviously joe biden is the one that denied him you could say it's homeland security they make the final decision at any given time biden can step in and say no no this is a kennedy his family has a history of needing this type of protection the reason that we offer this protection is because of what happened to his father we need to give him protection please do that as soon as possible and they would do it they would 100 percent do it they wouldn't say no sir we're not going to do that but he has decided to step back from that and not 
offer that to Robert F. Kennedy. Now, let's get into the actual situation that's taken place here. Let's pull that up. So this is from uh, Robert F. Kennedy Jr.'s Twitter himself. He just breaks the whole thing down. He says, I'm very grateful that alert and fast acting protectors from Gavin DeBecker and Associates spotted and detained an armed man who attempted to approach me at my Hispanic heritage speech at Wilshire L. Bear L. Bell Theater in Los Angeles tonight. The man wearing two shoulder holsters. Let me make sure you guys can see that. Two shoulder holsters with loaded pistols and spare ammunition magazines, was carrying a U.S. Marshal badge on a lanyard and a belt clip federal ID. <laughs> wow. Um, he identified himself as a member of my security detail. So this guy's impersonating and then lying about being a part of the detail. Armed GDBA team members moved quickly and isolated and detained the man until the LAPD arrived to make the arrest. I am so I am also grateful to the LAPD for the rapid response. Uh I'm still entertaining a hope that President Biden will allow me Secret Service protection. I am the first presidential candidate in history to whom the White House has denied a request for protection. This is the gentleman right here who tried to move on uh, Robert F. Kennedy. Don't know this gentleman's name. Haven't heard anything like that yet. But I mean, just to thank God. Uh, that he's safe because if there was another one and if this happened again especially to this family oh my god let's actually check out the arrest they actually made the arrest here just a quick Take a look at that bag really quick before you guys get into it. Just wild. Just wild that this actually happened. Holy nuts. Two pistols on him. Extra magazines. What was he going to do? I mean, it, the guy's a Kennedy. What else are you going to think somebody approaches a Kennedy like this? lying about being a part of his detail Whew. come on man come on and again you know even like, even kennedy saying it he's like i'm hoping president biden will allow me to have secret service protection what's going on with this guy you know i mean i know everybody we all think he's incompetent he's a silly person he says silly things there's a recent clip of him telling a crowd of people that he's giving a speech to joe biden of course he says he's i'm going to bed he just like announces it i'm going to bed like just just it's getting it's getting so crazy but to deny this man secret service protection while you're also trying to lock another man up for 700 years potentially in prison this is just this is just crazy what's going on. This is, like, has an election? I should actually look into this to see if this, has an election ever been this apparently corrupted? <laughs> like, it just seems so shady. One guy has a family history of people getting assassinated. The other guy's just trying to run, and he's getting indictments thrown at him. He's getting threatened with jail time and not only that they're trying to actually silence his speech they're trying to put a gag order on him so he can't speak about it so he can't say things like it's a fake indictment he can't say things like crooked joe biden like he can't say anything like this is like what's going on actually what's going has there like if he hasn't gone down as the worst president in history this this type of stuff solidifies it like by the time all this is done he will be known as the worst president ever ever to grace america ever ever there there's no there's no contest here but i mean why would you deny robert f kennedy jr 
Secret Service protection. Why would you? Well, you know, I was doing a little digging. You know, you don't have to do too much digging when it comes to Robert F. Kennedy Jr., I'll be honest with you. And uh, I came upon this clip here. (laughs) Just listen to what he has to say here. He's talking about Biden's administration, Biden's, uh, Biden's America. Let's go. This corrupt merger of state and corporate power, which has, uh, which has gotten, uh, which is turning our country into a corporate kleptocracy, into a system of socialism for the rich, and this kind of a cushy socialism for the rich, and this kind of brutal, um, merciless capitalism for the poor. Uh, it keeps us in a state of war. It bails out banks at the same time that it, it you know, this month, last month, the United States government told 30 million people it was cutting their welfare che- their food stamp checks by 90%. It took it took 15 million people off of Medicare. The same month it gave 300 million dollars to the Silicon Valley Bank and tapped up the cost of the Ukraine war to 113 billion. We're sending 113 billion to the Ukraine. The entire budget of EPA is 12 billion. The budget of CDC is 11 billion. We have 57% of American citizens could not put their hands on $1,000 if they have an emergency. A quarter of our citizens are hungry. So we're cutting welfare and food stamps by 90%. And we're paying and we're bailing out the bankers. We're paying for a war that, you know, we, you know, we can't afford. And, um, and with the way that we do this is by printing money. We've printed 10 centuries of money in the last 14 years. And that, is, that caused the inflation, which raises food, by which, is a, which is a tax on the poor. So, you know, we've raised food prices for basic foods like chicken, dairy, and milk by 76% in the last two years. And now we're cutting people's food stamps and bailing out banks the same month. It, uh, it doesn't make any sense. And we need to get rid of this kind of corporate control of our government. It comes from uh, this, you know, this, it, it, our, our democracy is devolving into kind of a corporate plutocracy. Do you get it yet? Truth. Truth. That's why he's being denied Secret Service protection. Because he's willing to speak the truth. How many times have we seen it already? I just did a video just a couple hours ago about what's going on with Russell Brand. Truth. You hear Jordan Peterson. People want to shut down all of the shows that he does when he goes around, when he's touring. Why? Truth. Speaking truth to young men. Joe Rogan gets on almost every single episode. Truth. They try to shut him down. It's the truth. That's why he's not being afforded Secret Service protection. Because if something happens to him, good riddance. Because he's telling the truth too much. It's too much. You know, I just saw a clip. I I wish I had it ready for it. I completely forgot about it. It's Jimmy Dore. And and he was talking about how people don't get locked up for lies. They get locked up for the truth. And he brings up Assange. And he's bringing up all these people. But that stood out to me so much. He's like, it's the truth that gets people in trouble nowadays. And it's so true. It's so true. That's why you're seeing Trump get indicted. Truth. That's why you're seeing this guy. The, 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 the administration right now could care less whether this guy gets assassinated or not because he's telling the truth. Because he's opposing the lies. I'm not even going to call it the administration. The lies that are going on. He's opposing that. He's stepping up to that. Tucker Carlson gets fired. He's right there on the screen. Truth. You speak the truth too much. And they could care less what happens to you. And that's the best case scenario. Worst case scenario, they do care what happens to you. And they don't care in the sense of keeping you safe. They care in the sense of making sure <laughs> that something happens. Absolutely ridiculous. I don't know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep an eye on the case. I'm not really sure what's going to be going on. An arrest was made. They haven't released a gentleman's name. I'm sure they will within a few days. Same with the Russell Brand stuff. So it's same with everybody that's speaking the truth. Everybody who's speaking the truth is going through some wild stuff. This is uh, this is the worst, the worst. 
You know, I wonder if it's the worst that America's seen. Like, I know there's been, like, the Great Depression and things of that nature, but I mean just politically. The, 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 not just politically, like, the integrity of politics. Like, if this has been the worst. I think it has. I think this is the worst it's been. Again, one, one candidate is getting threatened with a maximum of 700 years in prison. Another one has al almost tones, a situation that has tones of an assassination attempt. And then the guy who's actually running everything is announcing that he's going to bed, clearly isn't making these decisions, and if he is, making the worst decisions ever. Just, it's just gotten out of control. It's gotten too big. You know how people talk about that? Government's getting a little too big. It's gotten too big. It's absolutely ridiculous. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you haven't liked the video already, like the video. If you haven't subscribed already, subscribe. And uh, hit that notification bell. We're making one to three videos a day. But let me know what you think in the comments. What do you think about Robert F. Kennedy's situation? What do you think should be done about it? And uh, how do we move forward? I'm going to start thinking about that more. Because I think as people, we got to start thinking about that more. Because they're not doing it. The worst thing we could do is let them think about that for us. I think we have to start thinking about how we're going to move forward. Because I, I, I don't think they know. Or they do know, and it's basically just everybody off of a cliff. And then they're like in a spaceship going to Mars or something. I don't know. Anyways, guys, other than that, I am out.